Right, guys, we'll just close this report now. If you're new to the channel, this is my 100% Paragon walkthrough on Mass Effect 2. I'm Day Hunters. This is with a Z, a Z, whatever you want to say. Z for Americans, Z for British people. And we are in the Normandy SR2. Yes. <laughs> These loading screens. Welcome aboard the New Normandy, Commander. Shepard looks a little too happy. Looking over the dossiers, I'd strongly recommend starting by acquiring Morden Solus, the Solarian professor on Omega. We know the Collectors use some type of advanced technology to immobilize their victims. We'll need him to develop a countermeasure to protect us. Without that countermeasure, we'll be helpless if we ever run into the Collectors. Acquiring Professor Solus seems like the most logical place to start. Who are you? I am the Normandy's artificial intelligence. The crew like to refer to me as Edie. Helmsmen aren't happy when someone takes control of a ship away from them. Especially Joker. I do not helm the ship. Mr. Moreau's talents will not go to waste. During combat, I operate the electronic warfare and cyber warfare suites. Beyond that, I cannot interface with the ship's systems. I observe and offer analysis and advice. Nothing more. I'm guessing it takes more than just the three of us plus Joker to fly this ship. The Normandy has a full crew. They're at their stations awaiting your orders. Final preparations for takeoff are complete, Commander. When you're ready to go, just pick a destination from the galaxy map and the CIC and I'll plot a course. Jacob and I should return to our posts. Come find us if you have any questions. Ah, uh, that's just giving you a... Uh... A uh, tour of it, but I know this. I know this ship like the back of my hand, so I don't need to look at that. Right, we'll talk to Joker first. We need some of his humor once again. It's been too serious since the game started. We need his humor. Right. Ah. Uh... Can you believe this, Commander? It's my baby. Better than new. It fits me like a glove. And leather seats. Military may set the hardware standard, but on a first-gen frigate, they could care less if the seats breathe. Civilian sector comfort by design. The reproduction is not intended to be perfect, Mr. Moreau. Seamless improvements were made. And there's the downside. <laughs> I liked the Normandy when she was beautiful and quiet. Now she's got this thing I want to talk about. It's like ship cancer. It's not the same, Joker. There's nothing here that was even part of the real Normandy. There's us. I have to take what I can get. The last two years sucked. You'll see. Even if an AI is spying on us, no way they'll invest this much just to screw us over. It'll be better than the old days. I hope so. I die. God, you are such a downer. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Shepard's sarcasm and Joker just... <laughs> uh, that's funny. What's this area of the ship? This is the bridge, where the navigator plots our FTL vectors, and the helmsman maneuvers the ship. Yeah, sitting right here, thanks. I want to know more about the people I'm working with. Much of that data is classified. Do you have a specific inquiry? How did Cerberus replicate the most advanced warship in the Alliance Navy without anyone knowing? I have a block that prevents me from answering that question. What do you mean? Although I am less controlled than other AI, I am still subject to behavioral blocks and the physical isolation of my hardware. In this case, I am prevented from truthfully answering your question by Cerberus's levels of secret classification. Let's okay. discuss something else. She wants Ready. Something. I want to know more about you. Do you have a specific inquiry? How are you getting along with Joker? Mr. Moreau does not trust me. It offends him that I am installed aboard his ship's computers. 
Yeah, the last Normandy did just fine without an AI reminding me the airlock is ajar. <laughs> you do aboard the ship. I operate the ship's electronic and cyber warfare suites in combat. My reaction time is much faster than any organic. I collate the records of shipboard monitoring devices for the elusive man. I serve additional functions which are restricted at this time. Ah, thanks enough talking to you. Logging you out, okay. Uh, more information for the journal, I guess. Right. Uh, you. Actually, I'll look at my email first. Thank you. Ah. Ah, uh, I didn't mean to do that. Ah, uh, unread messages. Right, a lot. We've got a lot here. Ah, uh, thank you. Thank you. My talk help. That's nice. Service assault armor. Thank you. Numb the crash site. Crash site. Uh, God damn it. <laughs> I accidentally. That sounds something else there. If you're Scottish. Sight is what I meant to say. My lisp. Damn my lisp. Right. We'll just go anyway. Got new objectives. Journal. We'll call those dossiers. God damn. Citadel, Council, Convict, the Master Thief, the Professor, the Veteran, the Warlord, and we stop the Collectors. The Codex, which Mark View is red. Or whatever. Ah, uh, oh, Jacob is down here. Where is he? Oh, he's in here. I, for I forget sometimes. Ah. Uh, those weapons look cool. Commander, there hasn't been time to really settle in and take stock. I want to say that working with you is a great opportunity to do something that matters. It's a privilege to serve on the Normandy, Commander. You may change your tune if we end up like the original Normandy. <laughs> Maybe. As long as the elusive man walks his talk, and you do the same, I'll do my best to make sure we succeed. That's been the condition for my service so far. I have issues with certain actions Cerberus has taken in the past. What has Cerberus done to make you nervous? A lot. They've been called terrorists, and with good reason. Doubt you can find a more checkered past. But if the Collector threat is real, and we do something about it, Cerberus will be remembered differently. Or we'll all be tried and executed. Can't count on people thinking about it as hard as I have. Well, thanks for that. <laughs> I look forward to working with you, Mr. Taylor. Likewise, Commander. Let me know if you need anything. Commander, can I help you with something? I'm more interested in just talking for a bit. Already? I'm not big on fo Commander. Okay then. <laughs> that was a bit... Crap. Do you know what I don't like about the Normandy though? You have to actually get your crew to access other areas of the ship. Ah! Damn it. Accidentally. So, no, I don't. Why are you lying to me? You're lying to me, Yeoman Chambers. I'm Yeoman Kelly Chambers. I've been assigned as your administrative assistant. I'll manage your messages and help you monitor the crew. And I must say, it's such an honor to work under you, Commander Shepard. I'm glad to have you on the team, Miss Chambers. Please, call me Kelly. Okay, Kelly. Anything else? Do you have a moment to talk? I always have time for you, Commander. I better go. Shut up. Who's quarters? Right, let's go in here.
Ah, oh, Dr. Chuck was. Commander Shepard. I watched the Normandy crumble with you on board. It's good to see you alive. I'm shocked. You're serving on a Cerberus vessel now? Surprising. Even to me. Yet, here I am. The kind of trauma you endured would have changed most people. But not you, I see. Welcome back, Shepard. Do you have everything you need? I believe so. This medical bay seems very much like the sick bay on the original Normandy. Only thing missing are my private reserves. I even had a bottle of Ceres ice brandy that I was saving for a special occasion. I'll keep an eye out for a replacement bottle. Oh, you needn't. It's expensive, and we have much larger concerns ahead. I'll see you later, Doctor. Commander. Okay then. Find Brandy. Commander Shepard, the hero of the Citadel. You did humanity proud that day. Miss Sergeant Rupert Gardner here. How can I be of service? You have everything you need. I make do. But have you ever tried to prepare a decent meal with military provisions? I'm good, but I'm no miracle worker. Taking down the collectors is going to be rough business. The crew deserves a few fine meals before they throw themselves into the fire. What do you need? If I had some quality ingredients... Oh, shit. You've got more to worry about than grocery shopping on the Citadel. Forget I mentioned it. If I head that way, I'll keep an eye out. Much appreciated. Most of this list is probably standard fare for those namby pambies on the Citadel. Anything else you'd like to talk about? I won't take any more of your time. Back to work. Getting more and more quests left, right, and center. Commander, what can I do for you? Do you have a minute, Miranda? No doubt you've got a lot of questions. Cerberus isn't as evil as most people believe. If I can help allay any of your concerns, I'd be happy to do so. So, what would you like to know? What can you tell me about the elusive man? Not much that you don't already know. Even I don't have access to most of his background. And you've seen more of him than most ever do. It's rare for him to become directly involved in missions, but you're something special. Whatever else people might say about him, I can assure you he's got humanity's best interests at heart. That includes you and me. How can you be sure of that if you know so little about him? I didn't get to where I am without knowing how to gauge people's motives and ambitions, even from brief encounters. He's no saint, and he'd be the first to admit it. But he is committed. Humanity couldn't have a better advocate. I know what we're doing here, but what's Cerberus's long-term goal? The advancement of the human race. Nothing more, nothing less. The Salarians have the Special Tasks Group. The Asari have their legendary commandos for stealth and recon operations. Cerberus is humanity's answer to those organizations. But those organizations are regulated by governments. Who keeps Cerberus in check? Nobody. We're privately funded and our backers trust the elusive man to make the right decisions. But he's very clear about our goals. Protect humanity and serve its advancement. Are you military or political? Or both? Cerberus has several divisions. Political, military, scientific. But we're all working towards the same goal. We keep our ranks and structure similar to the Alliance. A lot of our recruits started there. But not all Cerberus operations use the same protocols. We try not to get bogged down in bureaucracy or formality. What kind of resources does Cerberus have? We're very well funded, though I doubt anyone other than the elusive man knows exactly how well. But our resources aren't unlimited. Reviving you and rebuilding the Normandy was a significant investment. And a significant risk. We're all hoping you can do the impossible, Shepard. No pressure. Tell me about yourself, Miranda. Oh, I guess that's fair. I've spent the last two years learning everything there is to know about you. Well, you should probably know that I've had extensive genetic modification. Not my decision, but I make the most of it. It's one of the reasons the elusive man handpicked me. I'm very good at just about anything I choose to do. You certainly don't lack for confidence. It's just a fact. My reflexes, my strength, even my looks, they're all designed to give me an edge. No point in hiding from it. It's the reason I'm trusted to oversee the most dangerous, risky, and technically demanding operations Cerberus undertakes. And it's why I was assigned to you. It's my job to make sure you succeed, Shepard. What level of genetic modification are we talking about? That's very thorough. Physically, I'm superior in many ways. I heal quickly, and I'll likely live half again as long as the average human. 
My biotic abilities are also very advanced. For a human. Add to that some of the best training and education money can buy, and... Well, it's pretty impressive, really. Thanks for the information, Miranda. I'll talk to you later. Of course, Commander. Whatever you need. Okay, then. <laughs> right. We'll go down to the um, engineering deck. Because there's a, a quest to give you as well. You know how, like, the provisions and the brandy. There's not a quest for that. Just to help make your crew a little bit more happy towards you, I guess. But, take in mind, I think a lot of upgrades and a lot of things you have to do in this game affect what is going to happen um, as you progress throughout the game. So, it's really good just to do everything as possible, you know. You're speaking to our commanding officer. I'm touring the ship, getting to know my crew. I'm Engineer Ken Donnelly, handling the power control systems. This is Gabby. That's Engineer Gabriella Daniels, actually. I'm responsible for the propulsion systems. What can we do for you, Commander? Yes, Scotty. <laughs> this is a star. This has to be a Star Trek Easter egg. Seriously, really? Are you set up okay down here? We can't complain. I just wish it didn't take so long to calibrate the FBA arrays. The Kenneth, you're complaining. <laughs> what kind of problems are you having? When they upgraded the Normandy design, they got a bit sloppy with the FBA couplings. I won't bore you with the tech, but there is an array of attenuators in the primary power transfer system that channels the field bleed. Kenneth, you're boring the commander with tech. In short, if we had T6 FBA couplings installed, it'd save us a lot of maintenance time each day. Why isn't something like that already installed? It's probably just a design oversight. Efficiency isn't affected. It's a maintenance issue. Also, the T6 model can be hard to find. Nash and Stellar Dynamics discontinued them. We could probably find used ones in the Omega markets, but we have no time for shore leave. Ah, oh, I can't be bothered talking to you, all of you about your history. I'll do it later on. We'll do it, Commander. <laughs> right. We'll go to the Citadel. I think that would be the first place to start off. Talk to the council. Get some of the provisions. And, yeah. Just do that. Or should we go to Omega? Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Hmm. I'm not sure anymore. Nah, we'll go use the galaxy map in some way. Yeah. Look at all of this. See how much they've improved the... When you fly about. Ah. Uh, mass really. For those that have been with my channel a long time, if you go to the local cluster and do the Uranus Easter Egg, I showed a video on that. Ah. Uh, Actually, we'll stay in the Omega for a uh, thing and go to Omega. We'll just go now. Omega looks like a giant mushroom. Why? Why does it look like a giant mushroom? Odd. Well, it doesn't look like a mushroom. That would be a bit of emphasis, but it's got a, it's got that kind of. Semi-circle shape on the top. <laughs> These loading screens are much cooler, at least that isn't like the elevator spot. Still take a while. Oh, by the way, I've got different outfits as well. Uh, don't have one for you. Uh, 
I could improve them. I improved Jacob like off camera, but I want to get their um, loyalty first before I actually decide. You know. Ah, welcome to Omega. You're new here, aren't you? I can always tell. Allow me to. Oh, hello, Mocklin. I was just. Leave Fargot now. Oh, of course, Mocklin. Whatever she wants. Okay, Blasted then. scavengers, welcome to Omega, Shepard. You know who I am? Of course. We had you tagged the moment you entered the Terminus systems. You're not as subtle as you think. Arya wants to know what brings a dead Spectre to Omega. I suggest you go to Afterlife now and present yourself. Cut the attitude. I'm not here to cause problems for Omega. Things explode around you, Shepard. You can't blame Arya for keeping an eye on you. Afterlife, now. Okay then. I'm receiving quarantine warnings about the slums where Dr. Morton Solis runs the clinic. Anticipate resistance at the transport station. I have also accessed messages between mercenary groups regarding plans to deal with the Archangel. There's a recruiting station at Afterlife that may have information on him. Right, guys, I think that's going to be it for this part. And we'll probably talk to you next part. Uh, as always, just, yeah, have a fantastic day and I thank you for listening and watching this.